New Light version offers basic remote, but full range of features. Fire Television Stick Light with Alexa Voice Remote Light No Television Controls HD Streaming Device. This Fire Television Stick Light is sold by Amazon. Product linked in the description below. Our most affordable Fire Television Stick enjoy fast streaming in full HD. Comes with Alexa Voice Remote Light. Great for new users start streaming with access to over 200,000 free movies and television episodes from ad-supported streaming apps like Imp Television, Tubi, Pluto Television, and more. Easy to set up stays hidden plug in behind your television, turn on the television, and connect to the internet to get set up. Press and ask Alexa use your voice to easily search and launch shows across multiple apps. Endless entertainment stream more than 1 million movies and television episodes from Netflix, Prime Video, Disney, Peacock, and more plus listen to millions of songs. Subscription fees may apply. Live television watch your favorite live television news and sports with subscriptions to Sling Television, YouTube Television, and others. Listen to music stream on Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora, and others. Subscription fees may apply. 4.7 out of 5 stars. The item has a total of 252,555 reviews. Product linked in the description below. The first review is from Torrenty9. New light version offers basic remote, but full range of features. 4.0 out of 5 stars. I have several Fire Sticks Roku and a Roku Express. I don't have a need for fork so that feature, found on the more expensive models, is not important to me. For a few dollars more you may want to consider the basic Fire Stick just to get the power and sound buttons. Just make sure that you are getting a newer model with these features and not the original stick without these buttons. Update 12 million. One hundred I discovered that you can control the television power ONOFF with the Fire Stick light if your television is CC capable. Most are. Pressing the home button on the Fire remote should turn the television on and switch to the Fire input. If the television is already on, pressing the home button will switch to turn the television off. Make sure that your television HDMI settings have CEC control turned on for this hidden feature to work. So far I haven't been able to control the volume this way. All of the remote controls use RF radio frequencies to control the stick, rather than the usual infrared IR controls found on television remotes. That means that they don't have to be pointed at the television to work. Price and basic performance are what counts. In fact, they wouldn't work with the fire sticks if they were IR remotes, since the stick sits behind the television. The downside to the RF remote is that they are specific to the individual stick. The menu allows you to pair a new remote to the fire stick if you replace one. You can also access the fire stick with your cell phone with the Fire app. This has come in handy when I've misplaced the remote control or worn down the battery and not had a replacement. By comparison, the Roku Express and my Roku use IR remotes that you have to point. They are interchangeable, and the batteries seem to last longer than the RF remotes used with the sticks. Performance, picture quality, and speed are good on all three Fire Stick models. The light model is the newest of the basic models and should have the fastest speed, but I haven't detected any difference. To save on network bandwidth, I force all of my devices to operate at 720. The new Fire Stick light delivers especially at the current promotional price. The picture quality is quite good on mics up to 50 and pushing higher resolutions just wastes bandwidth, in my opinion. However, picture quality is heavily dependent on the particular app and type of content being watched, so I can't really make any predictions how it will work for you. The Fire Sticks plug directly into the HDMI connector on your television. A short extension cable is provided if there is not enough space for the stick to be plugged directly in. The unit is provided with a 5.1.0 amp AC adapter 
and a short USB cable. Amazon recommends plugging the stick into a separate outlet. In fact, if the unit detects that the television USB connector doesn't have enough amperage, you will get a message telling you not to use it. It's more convenient to, to use the television to power the stick, but there are drawbacks aside from the lack of power. The television often turns off the USB connector when powered down, meaning that when you turn on the television, the fire stick will have to reboot and reconnect your network, slowing down your startup. All three of my basic fire sticks are standard models and identical in appearance with slightly different remote controls. It would also be possible in rare instances to accidentally power down your stick with the television when an upgrade is being performed, which could cause problems. All that said, I still use the Fire Stick with a smaller 24 Vizio that I carry out to the patio and power it with its USB connector. All of the Fire Sticks have the ability to talk to Alexa by pressing the microphone button. Because they are directly linked to the Fire Stick, you can also tell it to search for and pull up apps. Before using the Fire products, I was accustomed to selecting a search box and keying in what I was looking for. With the Fire Sticks, I can press the mic button and say what app I'm looking for and install it. Or, I can tell it what program I am looking for and it may search and find it on YouTube, then start playing it. Neat feature and habit forming. The voice remote has many other features like being able to answer my ring doorbells, view my cloud comes, and other Alexa related skills. However, for most Alexa related activities, I usually have an echo in the same room and use that rather than the fire stick. The oldest standard stick has the most basic features and no volume or power button. How does the Fire Stick Lite compare with the Roku Express? Because they are similarly priced. You'd expect them to be very similar, but they are actually quite different. I've always liked Rokus, and the Express is a very fast and capable unit. It doesn't hang from the HDMI connector, but instead connects with a short cable and sits under or on top of the television positioned so the remote's IR beam can control it. The Roku Express seems to respond faster, and with some apps performs much faster. Again, that could be an app thing and not the performance of the unit. With CEC compatible, the Express is able to turn the television power on and off with the basic remote. One big difference, and one that's hard to find in the literature, is that the Fire Stick works on Wi-Fi at 2, 4, and 5. The Roku Express only works at 2. Fours. The newer standard model has the same controls but with the addition of a power button. If your network is heavily dependent on fives, the Roku Express won't be a good choice. Fortunately, in my situation, I am able to use both. Finally, with any smart television adapter, make sure that you get one that will run the program apps that you want. They are mostly the same on the Roku and Fire devices, but there are differences. For example, on the Fire Stick, I can view my Amazon photo library including videos that I've shot with my cell phone. I can't do that at present with the Roku. You may find that the Roku has apps that are not available on the Fire products. Ultimately, it's the apps that make these things work. The newest light model removes the power and sound buttons, but adds a guide button not on the other two. They removed the power and sound buttons on the light model. With these buttons, I pretty much don't have to use the television remote control at all. This review is from Jay. Here is a tip to make the Fire Stick light even faster. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Have been using the Fire Stick light for a couple of years now. It is great to transform any television or monitor that has an HDMI slot into a smart television. It is also very useful for bringing with you when traveling. Tip recently, I started to notice that the UI for the Fire Stick started to perform a little sluggish. Every time that I pressed a button, it would take an extra few moments to respond to my command. Luckily, the solution was simple. I will cut right to the chase folks, change your batteries. It's that simple.
The batteries provided with the remote did their job for a decent amount of time, but I can't emphasize this enough when I say the speed of the device increased from maybe it's a little slow to lightning fast I kid you not try it. You can thank me later. To anyone reading this hope this information helps make your fire stick even faster. Our first question is from Chris Robinson. Can I use a fire stick without the internet? No, will require internet for setup. You can only cast with Android devices, cannot cast with Apple iOS. Product linked in the description below. For more content like this, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified of new uploads. We upload new videos every day. See you next time.